Ah, crap. I forgot to put my apron on. One sec. Nabusio. My name is Sunel Pam, and today we are going to be cooking in my kitchen. Yes, the thing that everyone does, I'll be making a video about it. Indeed, that is what I'm doing. And uh, we are going to be making pasta. From all the cooking shows that I've watched, it has been flour and water and a couple other things that I couldn't really tell what they were. But now with some research, I can, I can tell you that it is some olive oil and some white eggs. Let's, let, let's just get into it. I had all these thoughts for what I was going to say, but I'm, I'm just really terrible at speaking. I think we start out with beating three eggs. If so three eggs get eaten. Doesn't seem very safe. It sounds like a little bit of abuse, but we'll we'll keep going. We'll keep going. I don't know what you use to beat eggs. So I'm just gonna get a whisk them. Whisk them to death. Can't beat them to death. I'll whisk them to death. How's that? And that's egg number one. It's two. And that's three. Now I'm just gonna Those eggs look beaten, right? Or whisked. They look whisked, yeah. I mean, if homicide department had to def define that as three different victims, I don't think they could. Not even any dental records. So, I'm gonna throw away the bodies now. Now they'll never be found. Okay, got three eggs beaten to unrecognition. See what's next here. I'm gonna need a bigger bowl. I think we we'll put in the wet ingredients first. So, dump in our eggs. How much olive oil? One tablespoon. Now I don't have any like measuring thingies, but this is the spoon you use on a table. So hopefully they don't mind the light tasting because that's all I have. Oh yeah, that, that looks real good. Nothing like some eggs and oil to start off your afternoon. Then uh, said a teaspoon of salt. Oh, that's gonna be plenty right there. See that beautifulness? Oh yeah. We need two, two cups of flowers. Yeah, the kitchen is so small here that uh, this tripod or this camera that I'm currently pointing at is in my sink. That's why I already have the water prepared. So I didn't have to fill that up. Looks about right, right? All right, time to Dump this bad boy in here. Oh yeah, all that flour. The recipe really recommended you had a mixer, cause I have to do this for 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, things are getting exciting now because we have a slightly Bigger dough ball, I think. And that's that's moist. But taking this bad boy out, there you go. And a nice big old hunk of dough. With the little cooking experience that I have, I am going to first cover the cutting board in flour. I don't know how well this versus needs to be, so it doesn't. Yeah. Wasn't making a mess before. I sure am making a mess now. Do I have a rolling pin? I do have a rolling pin. I don't know how much. Alright. How thin do you think this is supposed to be? Because this ain't thin enough. I think I'm going to have to roll this out into, or cut it into six sections. So, I might make it into bow ties. I don't know how to do that, but we're we're gonna we're gonna try here. Like 
take this very thin thing here, and then this, and then fold it back out. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, don't you think? I can get it to stick. I have so much flour on it. Maybe if I, uh... Yeah, that's good. These are our bow ties so far. I think they're looking pretty, pretty fantabulous. I'm not gonna lie. I'm totally lying. Oh my gosh, that pasta is still so thick. Just all the flour! <coughs> no, I was wasting my life on Instagram and they were showing how easy it was to make like dumplings and stuff and it's like, come on. But some of these are like giving up on themselves. They don't have the confidence they need to uh, succeed. Just like someone else in this kitchen. Maybe I could try a different different technique with this noodle. You know what? Hang on. Hang on one second. I think it's ravioli time. You know what? I made all this pasta and for the longest time I've wanted spaghetti with hot dogs. And I haven't had that chance. So we're going to be, well at least I'm going to be a little gross and uh, start making some Raviolis. Now we can't just have hot dogs. No, that's not that's not Italian enough. We need some grade A spices. I'll be I'll be back again. We got some basil. No, not that side, the other side. And we got some oregano. There we go. Alright, right. Pinch it together. Yeah, that's, that's really, that's really gonna work out. Oh my gosh, what am I doing with my life? It's so dry now too, it's not even funny how dry the pasta is. Right, fold, oh yeah, sweet fold. Oh yeah, be best fold, best fold I've ever even seen in my whole life, right there. Oh my gosh, so full. These raviolis can't, can't even close them. That's how delicious they are. Oh my gosh, look. Making some V raviolis. V for victory. Because that's how good these raviolis are going to be. Or whatever you call a, a filled noodle. Don't feel sad for me. I already, I put this on myself. I put this on myself thinking this was going to be a good idea. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Perfection. Boom. Into the bowl. Oh, yeah, we can just fill this bad boy up. Press that down. Oh yeah. Biggest ravioli thing in the bowl. Oh yeah. Right there. Nice and fine. Fine art right there. See that? Oh. Oh nugget. So now we have that uh, out of the way. We got half of that done. And we're going to be rolling stage two of this cancer. I'm just going to make this a more elegant shape. It'll mix. It is not mixing at all. Maybe if I get it back into a... If I roll it back into a ball and make it more... Uh... Oh, it's so slimy. I know you don't want to do this, but we got to face our problems head on. I guess you consider that boiling point. Got the salt in there too, so I'll just... I'm afraid of putting these more than one at a time, because I don't want them to stick. Oh yeah, that nugget that we... that I hate so much just goes in there. Wait, up, oh, wait, up. Oh. All the noodles are in. All but in. Empty. After so long. Such hardship. Such courage. It's all, it's in, it's all in there. It's still undercooked. I just got a flour a bit. I don't know, but I can't put it back in. I'm just gonna eat it. It tastes pretty good, actually. Yeah, it'll taste pretty good. I need a long way to go. It tastes like a bunch of flour. It the inside, but I'm pretty happy with that. Keep on going here. 
you have, you have, if you have someone in your life that truly loves to watch people do make horrible things and suffer, and then get excited again and then suffer again, then maybe, maybe just maybe I'll be excited at the end of this again, or not. I don't know. I haven't made it to the end of this video yet. Neither, neither of us have. And uh, if you enjoyed this video too, that'd be that'd be fantastic. It really would be. I'm just a lonely girl waiting for these noodles to be done. Maybe someday there'll be somebody who will want my noodles, but I doubt it. So I'll just eat by myself. But look at my nugget. It's not, doesn't look good. But I do hope that it tastes good, even with the hot dogs, basil, and oregano. Oh my gosh, how much longer is this going to take? Being less enthusiastic here. That's not good. Need to keep this energy high for this video. Need to keep the spirits high, right, Mickey? That's right. That's right, fam. You, you gotta, you gotta keep it good. You gotta keep it real good. I had two mouths. One, one to smile at you and one to pick up your hot shit. Cause this is a hot mess right there, don't you know? Mickey, I think we're going through a rough phase in our relationship. What, what do you mean? Well, I think, I think you're just being a little negative here. I mean, I'm trying to lift my spirits up and you're kind of pulling me down by saying that my stuff is hot, is a hot mess. I, I don't really appreciate it. Well, too bad. It's the truth. And you always say to people that you that you want your friends to be honest. And I'm just being honest, this is terrible. Screw you, Mickey. Actually, just, use, use a different one. Just, I'll use Minnie. Minnie's better. Right, Minnie? Um, overall, I think that these noodles look awful. They look like wrinkly people skin. I, I come out of a tub, and it's way too thick. That's why a lot of pieces are undercooked and taste like flour. It's terrible. I would redo this again. I would not let the dough sit out as long, and I would not let it be so thick so that's gonna be it all right this video is gonna be over now bye hey dude Hello. you mind uh trying a piece of my delicious pasta more chewy yeah it is i I left the dough out for too long. Out of all the pastas that you had, where would this be on the pasta scale? No. Is that bad? No, no, no. It's not even on that scale, it's not even pasta, that's how bad it is. I used to be, I used to be buttering. <laughs>